the rat is a very adaptable kind of critter. Because of that, gets into all kinds of different habitats, all kinds of different circumstances, all kinds of different interactions. And in many countries around the world, the idea of the rat has been uh, a very negative one. So it depends on where you are in the spectrum as to whether you regard the rat as an enemy, as a, a very despicable sort of thing, as something intriguing, as a tool for studying learning, behavior, response patterns, whatever. Rats do carry parasites, rats do carry disease, rats do bite people. Rats are adaptable in the sense that they can live in the, the sewer pipes under your house, they can live in the grocery store, uh, they can live on the farm, they can live in the city. Almost any habitat can be managed as part of the operational range for a rat. And when we begin this novel, we have a vision of a modern European capitalist urban order that has been placed on top of an indigenous Arab culture. And we see this town and we hear that it is a negative space, that it's a place where relations essentially are conducted as commodified relations, where all of these kind of modes of connection, friendship, love, sexuality, any kind of reciprocity is only taking shape according to the marketplace. And so we have essentially a town, as Camus tells us, uh, I suppose you should say as Rieu, the, the, the narrator tells us, is uh, marked by boredom, is marked by this kind of grinding, everyday uh, subjugation of human desire and need to business. The plague in some ways pre-exists, and I don't mean because it's ancient, but it pre-exists because the town itself, and by imputation capitalism itself, is something of an illness, a sickness. There's something wrong with the way these people live. And we're told that you have to have machinic robustness in order to live in this place, because if you do actually get sick, there is no comfort for you. Only the, the radically healthy can live in this place which is itself a form of disease in life. So in a way, when the plague emerges, it's almost redundant. But the rats are only one vector. And that, I think, is what becomes most interesting in the book, that it's about the embedded systems in which we live. So we have the system of uh, global trade and commerce, the system of imperialism, the system of the city of Oran. It's a bit like a Russian doll, a nesting doll, but instead of getting diminishing images of beauty and exquisite craftsmanship, you get diminishing images of horror and terror. So the rats, they bear the plague because they bear fleas. And the fleas are another vector. All of these things are making visible something that is otherwise invisible, which is the microbe. The problem isn't that we have rats. The problem is that they bear the microbe the thing that we think we've eradicated, the thing that we don't see, but is always there, and is more maybe even desiring than we are to perpetuate itself. The microbes are life. The plague is life. Something is impressing itself upon you here. Something that is undeniably life in all of its messiness, its leakiness, its hemorrhage. There is so much fluid that's in this book, right? There's lymph, and there's blood, and there's, uh, there are sexual fluids, and there's mucus. It just keeps pouring out. But modern bodies aren't supposed to do this. Modern bodies should stay contained. Modern buildings should be without pestilence. But there is no modernity that can guarantee against life reasserting itself. And indeed, as he listened to the cries of joy rising from the town, Rieu remembered that such joy is always in peril. He knew that those jubilant crowds did not know, but could have learned from books, that the plague bacillus never dies or disappears for good, that it can lie dormant for years and years in furniture and linen chests, 
that it bides its time in bedrooms, cellars, trunks, and bookshelves, and that perhaps the day would come when, for the bane and the enlightenment of men, it would rouse up its rats again and send them forth to die in a happy city.